Before the New Age ever existed, they were Christian mystics. They were the prophets of old. They were the wonder workers. Mystics were people that believed you could live beyond the veil. So mystics in the Bible, right? It says in Colossians 2.2, 2, Paul prayed this, that we may become progressively more intimately acquainted with and may know more definitely and accurately and thoroughly that mystic secret of God, which is Christ. The Amplified says this in 1 Timothy 3 verse 9, deacons must possess the mystic secret of the faith with a clear conscience. When was the last time we elected a deacon on the basis that they possessed the mystic secret? Wow, things are going to change more than we think. We ain't seen nothing yet. We ain't seen nothing yet. Timothy 3.16, we confess. This is what I confess. Timothy, I confess this, the hidden truth, the mystic secret of godliness. Wow. So, you know, throughout history, there was these mystics that shaped reality from the early centuries with Martin of Tours and, and Antony of Egypt and then the Desert Fathers and the Celtic Saints and the Huguenots and, and, and the uh, Celtic Saints, the Patrick, Kieran, David. They were those that possessed the mystic secret and they shaped governments. They changed nations. They didn't put on conferences. They changed the world, man. They changed the planet. They marked the lands. They did something powerful because they were in something powerful, a permanent union. Wow. So what does it mean? The dictionary says this, a, a, a mystic is a person who believes in the possibility of attaining insight into mysteries, transcending ordinary human knowledge. As by direct communication with the divine. Wow. That sounds like Paul. I didn't get my gospel from a man, he said. I got it from a revelation of Jesus Christ. This is a generation that's going to be taught by the Lord. He says, you will need no man teach you. We're going to be taught by the Lord himself in these days. A lot of my messages, I, I get in trances and encounters. And then I have to look at, uh, find it in scripture. So it means by direct communication with the divine, wow, or immediate intuition in a state of spiritual ecstasy. That's another word we've got to get back. Nobody parties like Jesus. Jesus is going to rock the house, man. The glory raves are coming back, man. Glory raves. The tent of David, to use a scripture, the tent of David, dance ecstasies where he was in the blood and dancing and sweating and crazy. Possession. I'm talking about possession. I'm talking about possession. Being possessed by something. Whoa, Jesus using my body, Galatians 2.20, I have been crucified with Christ, and now I'm enjoying a second existence, which is Jesus using my body. I'm being possessed by something. There's a generation coming that are possessed. Yeah! I have a verse for that. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. Religion makes us grumpy. <laughs> that old religious hag in drag, we've been dragging her around. She's like a skeleton with lipstick on her teeth. <laughs> we drag her around. We gotta burn that hag in drag. Religion's coming down. Religion cannot contain. 